guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 3 of my Dress Up Darling, so let's go ahead and get started, and 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, she looks so pretty! <laughs> Baby, that was an erotic dream. Oh my god, that's gonna be something he tells his kids. Be like, so mom, dad, did you ever have an erotic dream about each other? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that was me this morning. <laughs> Because, yeah, I had to be at work at, like, 9.30, and I was rushing. I woke up, like, I was supposed to wake up at 6.45 today so that I could, like, be up at Adam and I wouldn't have to stress and shit. Um, I ended up waking up, like, in about an hour before I had to go to work. And so I am, like, running around trying to hurry up, get dressed, taking my dog out, making sure my mom's here. We got there, like... At 915 but my co-worker didn't get to the freaking store until about almost 10 so but it was fun though. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -mm. It's natural, you're a guy. <laughs> it's okay to have those moments. Oh my god, relax.
Yeah, you thought she was gonna be mean? You might have to go to his house again, though. <sighs> it's fine. You're friends with her. Kojo! <sighs> you know, she's gonna find you, right? It's obvious that she was going to see you. So? <laughs> Come on. Yes, go with best girl Toko and fucking Bandari. Besides Lisa. Lisa's second. No, Le no. Mm -hmm. Lisa's number one for me. And then, and yeah, her voice actress is number two. So, boom. work on this all night? Yeah, I think you can. Mm hmm Yeah. That's a pretty black. Really? I mean, because of the texture and the softness? Gotcha. <laughs> oh. 
Go on, take it. Babies on a date, my babies. Ah! A little wig store. See, I don't think I would die. I think my mother would die. But see, no, if it was more weave and such, oh, she would freak. But, oh, look at all the wigs. They're so pretty. So you want to do it more closer to purple? Oh, I think that's that picture of the- <laughs> It is! <laughs> but it was from the manga that I use as my profile picture on Twitter. typical guys when they go to Victoria's Secret for the first time. They're like, I'm not gonna look. <laughs> yes, it's fine. <laughs> not really. <laughs> nice, isn't it?
Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm for people to see, dog. Oh, but you'll see her very soon. It is cold in here, and it shouldn't be. The freaking heat is on. Because we're girls, when we're hungry, we're hungry. We we don't give a fuck. Just happy that you were able to spend time with her.
Oh my god, I over love life! Honestly, I think as a, as a person who also read this chapter, like, because it still seems like forever ago. And I literally, I didn't realize I used that same freaking screenshot up until they showed it in this episode and such. <laughs> Both screen, the profile picture and the screenshot when I watched the first damn episode are from this episode. It's fucking hilarious. But, like, the date was just so cute. My babies. Oh, my God. I love them so damn much. There's too many damn feels. It's only the third fucking week with this damn show. Like, uh. But, yes. We can't even. Can we talk about her? I mean, okay. See, we can. But, I mean, as I said, she's close. But, just. We're not there yet. And I think the controversy, because like, because it was so funny, because there's this Twitter page that I follow, um, and because I'm a I'm a type of girl who likes the Gato aesthetic like very very a lot and shit, except when they go like really heavily into blackface and such. Um, the Twitter page that I followed got into a heated little debate with somebody, and it got so bad. That someone made a fucking YouTube video about it and such. But she wasn't really, she wasn't talking smack about the show. Like, she was only talking about, like, oh, hey, the show would be a little bit better if they cut down, like, the fan service. This is kind of, it's kind of how, like, I personally felt um, when I watched Mariko Chan for the first time and such. And I, I kind of knew we were going to get fan servicey moments with Mariko Chan. And so I was like, okay. I'm going to tone that out, and I'm just going to watch it to watch it. I was like, it's there, even though I'm not that target audience and stuff. And that's kind of the same thing with this. The the fan servicey stuff, especially when you're reading it in the manga, like, it, it's very out there. But then I think from what one of my friends told me, like, a week or two ago, um, there's a point where the fan service kind of dies down in a bit, and it's, like, still very wholesome, sweet, and such. Um, and that's kind of really what it's kind of, uh, I cannot speak, fuck me. <laughs> um, that's what it kind of is as of right now. Like, it's there, it's going to be sometimes over the top and stuff because fan service, you know. Um, and then eventually they're going to, like, take a break from it. And so I'm okay with that. I understand the reason of why it had to have fan service because, of course, like, sometimes in a way you need to have that and such. So, I mean, this is one of those shows just, like, any other freaking show that I've seen in the past where it's like, oh, hey, um, you know, half of the community is going to like it for this and the other half is going to hate it for this. And it's like, no matter what, if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. Just move on from it. You're pro If you don't like it, you're probably not going to watch it. So then go ahead and literally go on your freaking feed of your timeline or wherever the fuck you are and literally just block all the words of it so that you don't have to see it every single week. But... For Marine as a character, she's a very interesting character. Yes, she's mostly like a little bit of typical Garus and shit like that. But at the same time, she's very different from most Garus that I've seen. Because you get to see her like more as a person than just like typical, from typical Garu shows that I've seen. So like, take out gals and shit. Um, where like, they're there, their background noise or some shit, maybe they have like one episode about them and then that's it, they're back to background noise, and you get to see that, yes, yeah, she's still like a pretty normal chick, she likes anime and shit, and she likes the cosplay and everything, and it's adorable, but yeah, like, this date was so fucking cute. I, I love the fact that you know Waka is like, you know, maybe we shouldn't hang out in public because of the fact that everybody thinks that, you know, we might be dating, and it's like, who fucking cares? You can be friends without any romantic, like, influences and stuff but it is obvious that yeah you are attracted to her even though because you know because i mean come on now like it, it's it's obvious sir 
we, we all know how this show is going to end, slash the manga is going to end, of course, you're going to fall in love with each other, and so it's just like, we're, we're just getting that journey of them together, and they're just so fucking cute, I can't, like, the fact that he's doing this, not only because he wants to, but he's just enjoying it and such, it's sweet, and I really cannot wait to see how this event goes for them in next week's episode, aka, like, two weeks and such. Um, I'm hoping that chick that they were talking about, um, who also cosplays, I think she's supposed to make an appearance soon. I'm not 100% sure. I have to go back and look. Um, but like I said, I'm trying not to read as much shit so that I'd be spoiled and everything. But yes, this was such an adorable episode today. Of course, I fucking loved it. I've been loving all three of these episodes ever since this damn show started. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to be towards episode three of My Dress Up Darling. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode four. Bye, guys.